something happened yesterday and I was inspired. So as you guys know, right now it's December. It is not the easiest time here in Delaware to fish. I've been a little bit struggling, man. It's been windy. It's been straight brick outside. And I don't know if you can see that. It's like snowy on the ground. Yesterday though, I was scrolling social media and I think I might have possibly found the savior of all saviors. The bait that these fish have been waiting for. Oh, let's get over here to the water. Let me show you guys what we got here. Look at this. Now where I live, we didn't get any. They got a bunch of snow up here. If you guys haven't seen the last video, it's one of the most important videos on my channel. And yeah, we, yeah. Oh, we're still rocking the floor mats as well. I'm gonna leave these in here as long as I can. This right here is actually really, really cool. Mr. Beast, one of the most popular creators on the entire internet, possibly like arguably the king of YouTube. A lot of you guys probably know who he is, but if you don't, he does crazy videos. Like he literally bought a private island and he gave it away. Like they did a whole challenge thing on the island. It's just crazy, man. Literally like next level content. Jimmy is the man. Yesterday, like once again, him and his team transcended YouTube. It's crazy, man. Basically he opened up 300 restaurants. Mr. Beast Burger, they have burgers, fries, bunch of other stuff. It's just crazy to see another creator doing stuff like this. This dude literally created his own burger place. That's fire. Like pushing the boundaries like that. He's really just showing that anything's possible. By the way, this isn't like sponsored or anything. I just have a lot of respect for these guys. So basically with Mr. Beast Burger, you can only order online through delivery apps. I was actually surprised that little old Delaware was on the list. Unfortunately, like it was only up here in Northern Delaware. So I just dropped it off. Uh, I got it dropped off at my parents' house. We're going to open this up here, take a look at it. But also, man, if you guys know me, I have fished with a lot of different fast food. I actually have a whole playlist on my channel fast food fishing challenges where we go out with different like fast food and try to catch as many different species of fish as possible as i said it's the middle of december right now we're on the freaking planet hoth it has not been you know the easiest to catch fish but maybe this is the secret right here we're gonna take this out to the water see if the prophecy is true see how many different species of fish we can catch if any at all this should hopefully be interesting i'm excited to see though how this tastes let's crack this bad boy open real quick so i'm not gonna lie it's been a little while but these things are actually still warm they're in like tin foil i got the beast style right here chris style on deck and you know we had to go with the crinkle cut fries Ooh. french fry view that is what we are working with oh yo those are actually fire. By the way, it's like 30 freaking degrees out here. The smash burger is uh, a little bit smashed. It actually looks pretty freaking, oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see that right there. This, this has got french fries on it too. Yo. Okay, not just as like a creator to a creator, but just like me as a friend to you guys. This, like I'm telling you, I recommend this. Yup. Mm -hmm. Okay, I cannot eat all the bait. I just have to say though, shout out to Mr. Beast and his team. I don't know how they set all this up, but I can assure you, this is fire, dude. Mm. I'm not dude. Beast burger do be hitting. I just went to town on that dang burger. I wanted to show you guys something though. So look at this pond right here. This is kind of like the same with all the ponds around this northern Delaware area. It's that season where there's like ice on the top, but not like ice ice. It's like a thin-ish kind of layer. So you can't like fish fish, but you can't ice fish. I did not think like, I didn't even notice until I saw some geese standing in the middle of the pond. I was driving over here. It kind of hit me. I was like, yo, either those are Jesus geese or it's truly like the freaking Arctic out here. So what we're going to do, I got a little something in mind. Oh, all right. So we got pretty much everything set up here. Luckily for me. So that pond is over there right around here. They're on the corner. Look at this, man. We're in freaking Narnia. Oh, wow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, dude, this looks so cool with like the snow and everything. Yeah. All right, just like that, we changed planets. I am really liking the way this is looking right now. All right, so we've got a rod and reel right here. That's gonna help us catch the state record. But this, right, like this is just so cool. It's just like so motivating seeing other creators succeed and like create their own lanes, make new paths. If somehow anybody from the Mr. Beast team is watching this, hello. If any of y'all want a fish man, do a little fishing challenge. I <laughs> love you know, y'all, down in the comments below. How sick would that be if we did like a freaking Mr. Beast fishing challenge. Let's see what we got left here though. I, I did some damage on these fries. Uh, I was super effective. Still got some of them left though. Uh, still got some of the first burger. And then we actually have the full, I'm pretty sure this is like the flagship item. Look at this area we're fishing at, man. We got the sprinkling of snow. We got a nice little waterfall ambiance coming down to this crystal clear creek. We got a bridge with some trolls. That's actually crazy. All right, so what time is it right now? It's been like well over an hour and this thing is still warm. The beast style. So this uh, has a bunch of stuff on it. I don't remember. Whew. All right, so let me show you guys we are once again rocking the ninja setup this is like a very light setup good for this clear water this is a six foot six medium light rod we have four pound test we have a little split shot right there and then that is going down to a tiny little i think this is size 10 or size 12 hook i don't know something very small and look at this we got a little piece of meat we're gonna smash the smash burger onto the hook 
Just like that. And we're just gonna see, man. I don't know. I haven't fished this spot in like over a year. I'm liking this little rock right here. The thing that's kind of giving me hope. Oh, wow. Oh, that is super, super clear. So it gets a little bit deeper out here. The thing that's giving me a lot of hope is that we've had a lot, a lot, a lot of rain. Well, I guess up here they got snow. All right, just let that sit there for a little bit. Hopefully the current trickles it down a little bit. But yeah, I guess like as the snow is melting and continues to melt, that's just gonna make the water go faster down here. Hopefully bringing down some fish. And also, I mean, if they had any rain, especially like from the last trout stocking, spillways like this that, you know, get a little bit deeper, they tend to hold some fish. Is that a bite? Is that a bite on the burger? Hello? Hold on, my split shot slipping. All right, so basically we have a shot at a bunch of different species of fish. The only thing is, hold on, let me feel that. Oh, whoa, yeah. Oh, is that, am I getting bit? Hold on a second. Yo, I think I just had something bite the burger. I'm over here messing with the water. We're gonna cast this a little further over this way. The thing is, I mean, when it just, like the water temperature, you know, gets so low, these fish are not exactly looking for a Mr. Beast burger. But you know, if a Mr. Beast burger just happens to pop up in their face, we're gonna try to get to this island right over there. Oh my gosh. I think there's just enough rocks sticking up. Oh gosh, come here, cinder block. Oh, oh yeah, no, yeah, no. This is the spot. Imagine, dude, as I was saying earlier, like imagine some trout got washed down. You catch them with a freaking burger. What? Hello? Make sure uh, you leave all your gear all the way back in your car. 95% sure. There's gotta be something down here that's willing to bite this. The one thing that's been kind of hard is like keeping the food on the hook. But I mean, I guess that's the same with all these fishing challenges with the fast food. I do just have to say a disclaimer though that I always say, I feel bad in a sense for like fishing with the food when there's obviously, you know, hungry people in the world. But you know, it's for science. This burger could be the answer. I don't think in this spot though, because I'm not getting anything. I think uh, a couple more casts, I'm gonna put on a french fry. See, you know, maybe they're not in the mood for a you know, burger. Maybe they're vegan. Loki, if I was in Florida, I'd be up to like, 10 species of fish right now. Come on, man. i just drag it. I thought I got bit earlier, uh, like when I was over there, but I think that might have been just like a stick or something. Because you would, I don't, I don't know. These fish are playing with my heart. All right. Right all there. Come on. Juicy Mr. Beast burger. Oh my god. Did I just take my hook? My hook, oh my god, that was a freaking, what was that? Yo, my hook is gone. Did you guys freaking see that? That was not, okay. Dang it, dude. It's all good, man. We got time. All right, we're walking over here. I think it's kind of a little bit warmer. Looks like there's more open pockets in these bodies of water. I just want to catch the freaking fish, man. Definitely still looking a little icy on this side. Okay, yeah, now it opens up here. Mm, now, do we see any fish? I know there's a pipe. Literally those sides of any life forms. All right, I know there's a good pipe right here. Very good pipe. Where's it at though? I haven't been here in a long time. I think it's right in front of all this gunk. All right, toss the burger out. Now there are, like this used to be one of my favorite ponds of all time. I think it just gets overfished nowadays, but there are some really, really, really big bass. Like probably the biggest bass I've ever seen in my life is in this pond. I had never actually caught it. I think it's like a freaking genius. I mean, I guess if you're a bass and you live to be that old, probably just seen everything. Whew, come on, man, is there any fish by this pipe? Oh yeah, I see it through the ice right here. We haven't caught any fish so far, but this is like so relaxing. There's something about this snow that just makes me like very happy. I don't understand, like some people, I guess like people like different things, but some people just do not like snow like at all. Look at this canal on the side, dude. That is like almost completely ice. This is like a very skinny water canal. Try over at this corner, I guess. Let's just throw the burger. That's all I could do at this point. Oh my gosh, it's on top of the ice. Yep, that is iced. 
my god. I think his whole freaking thing is ice, dude. Can you guys see that? Literally, top water burger. Bass just smacks through the ice to get it. I'd say this challenge is a challenge. I can see right through that ice. I wonder what the biggin's doing in here, Big Bertha. She's probably snoozing, dreaming about the Mr. Beast burger. Oh my gosh, dude, just days like today really, really, really get me excited for this road trip we're about to go on. Again, if you didn't see the last video, I would definitely recommend checking out. It was very important to not only like my life, but the whole channel. Like everything's gonna be changing, but not really. Like we're still gonna be making the same ish videos, still doing the challenge videos, still doing everything we do now, the catch and cooks, all that stuff. But uh, yeah, in January, Kelsey and I are taking delivery of a freaking future house, our home on wheels. We decided to like sell all of our stuff pretty much, get a camper, travel the world, adventure, just make awesome, fishing videos let's go this way a little oh yeah no this meat i think is freaking frozen onto the hook right now let's see if that does anything it's just gonna be so nice to like go out and like actually be able to fish especially in these months you guys see man fishing here in delaware the past couple winters it's oh gosh almost busting my butt on the ice it's just not the easiest thing man that train is freaking loud dude okay so lots going on i went to a different spot it was completely iced over but that was down more so i didn't know it was that cold also down here so what we did we came to another spot this is one i have not been to in a long long time this is actually not iced over we got some chocolate willy wonka looking water oh no actually there's some ice over there oh no yeah no it's actually really icy over here look at this though i've not been here since like earlier this year i guess a tornado kind of bombarded this whole area. I mean, it just completely looks different. I have a feeling, man, this is going to be the spot. I have a game plan. We are coming over here. We're not messing around anymore, man. We're gonna pop fries. So we're at a little spillway area. And I think, I mean, yet again, this is gonna be one of those spots where fish potentially will be hiding out right beyond the current. All right, the magical potatoes. <sighs> From my past experience, this is like a fish hotspot kind of area-ish. So I don't know if there's still fish here. I don't know what kind of fish are here. I mean, this could have blown a bunch of different fish down into here. As well as this is also like a tidal body of water. Like uh, way back yonder, this is connected at some point to like the ocean. Oh, hello. Is that a fish? Come on. We just need something, man. If the taters don't work, we got the burger, man. We got the bacon on the burger. We got the freaking bun we were trying all that at these other spots but you know it is what it is i just want a fish like <laughs> literally a freaking fish as i was saying earlier though uh like with the whole thing that kelsey and i are doing this whole road trip again if you haven't seen the last video definitely check that out there's a lot of information that you guys are going to want to know about let me try a little bit over here more to the right but yeah, I'm going to need your guys' help, man. So I created an email. I'm going to put that up on the screen right here. Please, if you guys are interested in fishing with me, wherever I'm going on this journey, traveling, let me know, you know, what opportunities are in your area. And uh, let me know in the subject of the email, like what state you live in. I'm trying to hit pretty much all the states. There's a lot of, geez, I'm so excited. There's so many cool places and cool things we want to experience. But yeah, I also like want to fish with you guys. Might need to switch the bait up here let's try out here you know one thing i didn't think about it rained a ton here so this water is as i said chocolate milky murky maybe it's a little harder if there are fish in here to see i mean we're fishing some clear bahamas water up there in the north all right so it looks like the weather kind of changed where these fish might be hiding out so right now like kind of like this spot right here this first of all this tree looks a little bit unsafe but uh there's like a little eddy that's formed just like a little spot i mean you got the tidal flow right there and then it's just like a calmer little pool i'm not gonna lie i can't blame these fish even if they are right there I'm staring at it i mean it's just so cold all right we made our way See, I, hopefully this is the last spot of the day the sun is like kind of going downish there's this dock here so all i'm gonna do is drop this right down there a little piece of burger hello Oh boy. This is the side I meant to drop it on. Right? This is, uh, yeah, day two. Okay, so I came back to this spot from yesterday because I, I, I know there's freaking fish here. 
but it's still murkyish. I thought maybe if I put a float on and kind of suspend it. I just spent like 30 minutes here. My fingers are freaking frozen. I'm about to freaking drive down to Florida right now. Texas, Alabama, freaking. Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh my freaking, oh, oh my gosh, dude. Oh, for a video like this, that is one of the best feelings in the freaking world. Literally, look at how freaking tiny, dude. There's my hand. This thing is, literally, it's literally bait size, but that is all I could ever ask for. It, oh my gosh, it has been such a struggle. This is, like, I don't even know what number spot. Holy freaking crap, dude. I've been having the bacon on from the one burger. I kind of wrapped it around the hook. That's really staying on better than a lot of stuff. I've been having to like rebate after every freaking cast. That is, oh my gosh. Whew, one small fish, one giant leap for a fishing challenge. All right, French fry. I catch a fish on this freaking fry, dude. My mission will be a success. All right, come on, y'all are just attacking the freaking burger stuff. Oh, well. Oh, 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 oh. On the fry. <laughs> Let's go, get him up. On the freaking Mr. Beast. Oh my gosh, yo, if y'all have not already, all right, you gotta chill, buddy. If y'all not already, and if you have enjoyed this video so far, and if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to go down there, hit that thumbs up button. And also, if you do enjoy these videos but you're not yet already, make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video. Let's let that guy go right there. It's funny, there's another guy over there fishing. He passed me. He's like, yo, what do you, you use? That crinkle cup, man. All I got to say, man, if you made it far into this video, thank you guys so much for watching. If you take one thing away from this video, man, never give up. Even when the fishing's tough, when it's tough, it makes when you catch fish, like, that much better. I'm so happy right now, man. That took so freaking long. Shout out again to Mr. Beast. Beast Burgers is fire. Maybe not the best time of the year to be testing out uh, bait and fishing challenge like this. We made it work, though. Again, man, I just cannot thank you guys enough for all the freaking support. Hello? I cannot feel my freaking fingers. I'm gonna go back edit this video. As always, let's keep this rolling, man. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video. You wanna know just where